What's up guys? Well, this is like a, an uncensored video. I'm just kind of chilling at my apartments and I just wanted to give you all a, a channel update and status update of everything that's going on. Uh, right now, I'm actually pushing out some Elementor tutorials. I will be talking about how to make a website Elementor, uh, the pro version, and also a third spin-off one of e-commerce because I've been really neglecting e-commerce and um, I mean, the reason why, to be honest, is because my Flatsum tutorials just ranked number one on YouTube and everyone loves Flatsum. But I understand that people all don't want to use Flatsum, so they might want to use uh, Elementor. So I will be making an e-commerce tutorial on that as well. Um, also, Divi's. Divi's pushing out some new updates. I will be making uh, three videos on Divi next week. So how to make the website with Divi from scratch, because they've introduced tons of features since I last did a video on it in like, what, nine months? Um, the theme builder, which I myself don't know how to use yet because it's not out yet. And they don't give me beta access, man. You know, those guys over at Elegant Themes, as much as I promote them, they never give me access. It's it's It sucks. And also uh, an e-commerce website with Divi as well that's also coming next week. As soon as the theme builder update is released, I will be having videos on those. Um, next month, I'm going to be focusing a little bit more on uh, different categories. So, you know, Amazon Associates, Amazon Affiliates. Uh, blogging and also uh, different themes over on Envato Market like Flatsum and even Avada. Avada is actually getting a little bit more attention now because they introduced their front end builder, which is which is pretty cool. Um, so next month and this month, I'm really cranking out a lot of big tutorials, uh, just because there's so much happening. You know, like the new Divi theme, the the Divi theme builder is coming out. Uh, Flatsum just had a big update last month. Avada just had a big update. Uh, Elementor, you know, they're always pushing out new features. So I haven't done a, a tutorial on Elementor in about a year and a half. So I think I'm overdue for Elementor, you know? And I know a lot of people are using it. And what I've also noticed too is my audience. My audience is like, um, it's like, you guys know Nintendo? You guys ever play Nintendo Switch? They have an older audience and they have a younger audience, right? I have the same thing. I have people who have been using WordPress for about a year or two, three years. And then I have people who are brand new to WordPress and don't know anything at all. So making videos to accommodate both of those audiences, it's 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 a challenge, you know, but I'm, I'm working on it. In fact, you guys can see a lot of my videos. Some of them are geared towards complete amateurs. And then I see comments who are like, Daryl, like we already know all this, but I'm like, yeah, I know, but like I get new subscribers every day, <laughs> you know? So I try to make it uh, good for both, you know? So, um, but uh, other than that, those are, those are the tutorials that I have that are planned out. Uh, life in Asia is good just doing the same old thing uh, let me know in the comments how you guys are doing I'm just you know doing the same thing every day um, not much happening just you know just just living the life you know uh, but again those are the tutorials I'm pushing out also I'm thinking of using a um, or doing a blog tutorial and I'm not sure which theme to use I really want to use extra I really want to use extra because a lot of viewers purchase Divi and they're like, hey, what the hell is extra? You know, and I'm like, well, it's a theme, but I have one tutorial I did on it maybe two and a half years ago, but um, I don't know if it's up to par with other blogging themes today. Personally, I like the blogging feature of Elementor, but uh, with like Brizzy coming out, I feel that Brizzy is just kind of really taking Elementor by surprise and kind of um, the UX with Brizzy is like way better than Elementor, but Elementor, there's a lot more you can do with it. I do have a video where I compared Elementor versus Divi, or I'm sorry, Elementor versus Brizzy a little bit, and I talked about the difference between the two. Uh, personally, I'm, I'm really expecting a lot from Brizzy. I mean, when they push out the theme builder, WooCommerce builder, it's going to be, it's going to be really up there with Elementor. It's just going to be like, well, now it's Elementor or Brizzy, you know, and then Divi pushing out their theme builder, really interesting stuff. So there's a lot to come. So uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, any videos you want to see or anything you want to tell me. All right. So again, I'll see you guys in the next video. The Elementor video should be up in the next coming few days. So be on the lookout for that. Divi, I'm going to wait probably a few days until, um, after the theme builders, like, you know, maybe they might release a version after it. Maybe bugs might come out. I don't want to push out a tutorial too fast on it because um, if they have a big change after that theme builder update, like, oh crap, this site broke. We have to change this. And then my tutorial looks outdated. People message me, they're like, hey man, this, this tutorial is outdated. I'm like, it's not, it's, <laughs> it's not outdated. It's just a little different, you know, but again, let me know in the comments below what you want to see and I'll see you guys all later.